I was pondering the state of the world earlier today because I'm weird and I do stuff like that. And a phrase came into my mind. Kindness is weakness. Now that seems strange on the surface. It seems strange to me when it popped into my head, but I realized that we in the West live our lives in that way. We believe that kindness is weakness. We tend to go out of our way to please the people who are cruel to us, and we ignore the people who are kind to us. Worse, if we ourselves are having a bad day, then it's the people who are nice to us that we lash out at because they're safe. We know they won't lash back out at us. Meanwhile, the people who are cruel, the people who are unkind, well, they're scary. So whenever we're around those people, we're on our best behavior. That's how we live our lives. It doesn't make much sense in a trying to end suffering for myself and all sentient beings way, but it's what we do. And because we live our lives that way, because we think that kindness is weakness, two things happen. One, we don't want to show kindness to others because that makes us vulnerable. Because we don't want to be that person who's safe to lash out at, that person who's safe to ignore, right? And on the flip side, we don't want to ask other people to be kind to us. Because only weak people require kindness. If we're strong, if we're independent, then we can take the heat. So we don't want to be kind to others. We don't want them to be kind to us. Is it any wonder we're so miserable? <laughs> now the Buddha recognized that this was part of human nature 2600 years ago, which is why in his wisdom he made kindness a requirement in the Buddhist religion. If we look at the four Brahma Viharas, the four sublime abodes, the enlightened mind states that were meant to contemplate as Buddhist, one of them is loving kindness. In order to realize enlightenment, we must learn to be kind to others and to be kind to ourselves. Also to expect others to be kind to us. This is a trap we fall into quite a bit. We think that because we're spiritual practitioners, then we're unaffected if people lash out at us, that we're not supposed to have a problem with it if they are cruel in their treatment of us. But that's not what we see when we look at the sutras. The Buddha went out of his way to be kind and respectful to others, but he also expected them to treat him in accordance with that, in the same way. Now, that doesn't mean he went around beating people up, but he did not put himself in positions where he could be mistreated. If he went to a town and they did not want to learn the Dharma, he left. And as Buddhists, it's important that we understand it's okay for us to leave. It's okay for us to say, I don't like how I'm being treated right now. And if the treatment doesn't change, we can remove ourselves from that situation. But I just think about that because I just think about all of these interactions I've had with family members, with friends, with co-workers, and it never made sense to me. Why is it that I'm going out of my way to help you and you're going out of your way to harm me? That's why, because kindness in the Western thought process is weakness. And if we live our lives that way, believing that kindness is weakness, well, we'll be miserable and so will everyone around us. So we have to change our thinking. We have to understand that kindness is a strength. We are strong when we are kind to others and we are strong when we ask them to be kind to us. When we do this, 
we understand the interconnection and the interdependence of all living things. We no longer live under this false premise that I'm a strong individual and no one can affect me and no one should be affected by my actions. No, we all affect each other. So understanding we all affect one another, we need to treat each other well. And we should expect others to treat us well also. Amitabha.